Should be a semi-quick video, we'll hope. Anyway, Joe, Darwin's hamster, who <laughs> has made a bit of a snarky response video. Uh, but I don't think it really responded to the point. So, but we'll play it anyway. It's here, we'll do it. Hit the button, Gary. Come on, play the video, YouTube. There we go. If I Just walk out my front door over there, I'll see Section 8 housing, or what used to be called Section 8 housing, across the street. I haven't heard that term in a while. I don't know if it's gone away, or I just haven't been paying attention. If I walk to the nearest dollar store, which sometimes I do multiple times a day, not every day, but on some weekend days, I will be the only white person there. I used to like your stories, you know, because they had a little bit of detail to them, but this is, yeah, get to the point, yes. If I go another couple of hundred feet to the... You could just sum it up by saying you live in a community that's 90, 95% black or something, and you could just say that, that's where you live, and I've, you already said it, right? You've already said this, that, you know, the neighborhood's changed, and you've stayed, and it's quite okay. Save a lot grocery store, I will be the only white person there. If I go another eighth of a mile to the McDonald's, I won't be the only white person there, but it's on an interstate. It will still be predominantly black. Well, the very fact that it's predominantly black and there's predominantly white, isn't that part of this, the evidence that there's a, still a symptom here? <laughs> there's still some sort of residue left over? And that maybe it's something that will never go away. Maybe it's just something you can't fix. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I, I would argue that, yes, personally, I don't, I'm not much of a diversity fan. Um, I like golf courses, you know, manicured and controlled environments. I like that. I don't like chaos. I don't like noise. I don't like irritations. <laughs> yeah, I just don't. Um, and obviously when cultures divide, that's what you end up with. Uh, people get on each other's nerves. That's really not the subject. It really isn't the subject. I mean, your point was is that people who are, who've been robbed, essentially, right? You, you metaphored it as robbery. Uh, that they just shouldn't bitch. And I would say, yeah, that's fine. You know, if it, <laughs> if it only happens once in a while, if it's really, really, really just not, not a regular thing. But if it's every fucking week, you know, if it's just happening way too often, I think they have to make some noise or they're just going to keep getting raped, right? I, I mean, it's not that hard to figure out. I mean, when does it become unacceptable for you, I guess is the line, right? You're just saying uh, black people or me aren't allowed to think cops have crossed the line. They've gone too far. They've become unaccountable, arrogant, obnoxious criminals. And they don't want to take any accountability for it. They want to keep saying, we're the victims, we're the victims. They're the ones getting the high-paid salary to do, I mean, it's not really brain surgery, right? And so part of the job is... is yeah, probably take a little bit of a risk, and they're whining about it. And they're causing a lot of trouble because of it. Because they can't control their little trigger fingers. And instead of saying, well, maybe we should get the cops to control their trigger finger, you're going to tell the victims to, oh, take it in the ass a few more times. Shut up. When I walk out my door, the first neighbor I see will be black, unless it's the Mexican guy living with a black woman here. I get along with these people, with my neighbors, and they are the true victims of the Ferguson fiasco. Yeah, well, maybe I should interview them, what they think of you, I don't know. But fine, you get along with people. I don't. I don't like people, uh, even Europeans. Um, and you want to say they're the victims. How, how, how are they the victims of, of the Ferguson fiasco? And I wasn't defending... Ferguson fiasco. I wasn't defending rioting and stupid um, reactions. I was defending their right to complain. You were saying they shouldn't be goddamn complaining. So I, I guess I didn't understand. Your original video was pointed at only people who uh, react stupidly. I thought it was to people reacting by, like, feminists. Are, are feminists out of control? Have they tipped over too many cars? You mentioned feminists in the same category. And you said they ought to shut the fuck up, too. And I was just curious, like, what, what riots are the feminists guilty of? You threw them in the same category. So I thought you were just talking about people complaining. 
I didn't know you were talking about just particular kinds of behavior. So, yeah, I would agree that the Ferguson riots or the L.A. riots were a stupid overreaction. But who caused the overreaction, right? I think it was the, oh, yeah, that's right, the coon guy, the cop, okay, who uh, did the grill in the mist thing on TV. Yeah, I think it was he who was the problem. These people are not living on hatred. And whether I'm white or not doesn't change any of that. Well, I didn't bring it up. <laughs> I was talking about the subject. And the subject was, should people who are getting uh, uh, wronged, uh, do they have a right to complain about it? Yes, I've had it pretty good. And it may be entirely because I'm white. But it still doesn't change the facts. Uh, yeah, the guy I used to know who's black, he used to call us Europeans, not whites. So it was kind of funny. Hatred is its own damnation. Yeah, whatever. You sound pretty hateful now. <laughs> so I guess you're, you're, you're in for some damnation. You're kind of into it, huh? You're like a little damnation, sugar and damnation. Now I say... I get along with my neighbors. Do you have any black neighbors, Gary? Oh, a little petty question. No, I, yeah, I had one black neighbor, and uh, unfortunately he was, yeah, a cliche asshole. I mean, just all the way down. Do you get along with them? Do you have any neighbors you get along with? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, get along with, with what? I don't uh, think about killing them. <laughs> yeah, I've had neighbors I didn't think about killing. But, uh, so, who cares? I, I don't, I don't, I'm not here to like people. I'm really, it's just, it just doesn't seem like it's any part of my agenda. I don't have a whole lot of use for people. You might have, it might have occurred to you. Yeah, I don't really need them. They seem to need me more than I need them. That's how it sort of works. Of any race? How can you tell me that I'm wrong? I can tell you that I think it's wrong to tell the victims that they're, they're, they're complaining too much. I just think that's wrong. I think it's wrong not to point the finger where it should be pointed, and it should be pointed right at these, this irresponsible government authorities who take no responsibility for their crimes. They torture people. They took no responsibility for it. They, they're spying on us, which I couldn't give a shit about, but they do it based on lies. They lie to us. And the cops are doing the same thing. They cover up for their buddies all the fucking goddamn time. It's disgraceful and disgusting. The innocent ones are guilty by omission. By the fact that they don't do anything to clean up their own house. And in fact, they're just part of the conspiracy. They're part of the cover-up. One of their buddies gets into some kind of trouble. And all of a sudden, the law doesn't apply. The law they ruin other people's lives with every fucking day. Every fucking day, they impose these rules on people and ruin their fucking goddamn lives. And yet, when it happens to them, when they're drunk driving, all of a sudden, it's a buy. Why? That's how authority is supposed to act? That's how the grown-ups are supposed to act? Yeah, fuck the cops. That's what you could have said something about the goddamn motherfucking cops. And you said nothing about them controlling their assholery. No, you blame it on the victims. It's the victims' fault. Well, I say fuck that, yeah. Fuck you, you're wrong. That's right, you're wrong. About my perceptions of these things, when you're such a fucked up human being. Yeah, well, it's okay. <laughs> you know, your opinion doesn't matter. My opinion is the one that matters about how fucked up I am. All right? And that's not what I would call a rational argument dissecting my fucked upness. I'm fucked up, why? Because I don't like idiotic, inane, silly jackasses walking on planet Earth thinking they're accomplishing something when they're really motherfucking cunts? Oh, yeah, well, that's okay. If that's, if that's what qualifies as being a jackass and a fuck-up, then yeah, put me in the club, buddy. Put me in that category because, frankly... <laughs> okay, cop defenders aren't uh, I, to be to, to, bind, to be defined by like that by a cop defender. I guess that would make me feel pretty good about myself. I must be doing something goddamn right. The reason I don't watch or comment on your physics videos is because it is embarrassing to listen to them and to. Well, you haven't listened to them. You just said the reason why I don't watch, and then you tell me about what they are. You think that makes any sense? No, that doesn't make any sense at all. Watch them. To hear your arrogance and stupidity, you're talking... 
oh yeah, well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm smart, you're stupid. Is that how it's going to work out? Look, is, this is all, I don't mind being fully invested in this. So yeah, as long as I'm entitled to just piss on your head when this is all over and I win my Nobel Prize and I demonstrate that all this physics shit was on like bullshit road for the last hundred years. Complete idiotic nonsensical bullshit road. They haven't even got, they don't even know what frequency is. They haven't even got that part figured out right. They, they, don't, they haven't got any of it right. They've got like a big giant pile of it just fucking wrong. And the only thing they're doing right Okay, they got, the, 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 the models are all wrong. The, some of the math is okay. But yeah, they don't, have a, they don't have one coherent model. Total ignorance. As though you can just make this shit up. Okay, well, maybe I'll keep a copy of this video just so I can play it on your pissed head after I piss on your head. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make shit up. What I did was spend four years thinking about it. Because it doesn't make any sense, and you know you 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 know I you know I don't know who wants to you you're, you're playing the game so I must well play the game but well we'll wait and see what else you say and then we'll talk about it. Gary, I've tried to avoid dealing with you. I don't even know what that means, but fine. Um, you're making public videos on YouTube. I saw it. I didn't like it. I expressed my honest opinion. Oh. You know, that's against the rules? <laughs> yeah, if you're a judge, you would have thrown me in jail for that. But I guess I might just be weak enough that if you want to start a war, goddamn, I'll come on here and motherfuck you every day. Right, none of your friends or family were shot by some asshole, okay, who, who, who predatored him walking down the sidewalk, harassed him for 20 minutes, and then shot him. Yeah, right, and got away with it. All white jury. So just think about what you want. I don't really, you know, I, I I'm I would all for it really. If you got some reasonable critiques to make, then fine. But if all you're gonna do is attack me personally, ew, that seems kind of slimy. But I don't go do whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. Think about what the facts are. And what are the facts, Joe? What are they? The fact is, is that in the last three years, well, it's been longer than that, but, um, you just, you know, in the last year, it's just looking real bad for cops. And then they're sitting there extorting, like, the mayor of New York into kissing their ass, okay, <laughs> and playing games. Uh, you know, they're not even public servants anymore, right? I mean, they're playing all kinds of jackass games. Like, they turn their back to the mayor and play these... They're fucking hired employees. They should all be motherfucking fired. Think about what reality is and what hate is. So you seem to know so much. Well, you look, you sound pretty goddamn hateful. So it just seems like a little bit of a hypocrisy in context now where you're telling these people to cool down and calm down. Uh, it's only black people the cops are shooting. What are you fucking so upset about? <laughs> you know, so yeah, yeah, they don't have a right to be pissed off, but you do. Oh, okay. Sure. What about that? Okay, I guess that's the end of the video. Ugh. So anyway, um, yeah, as, as for um, critiques on the physics, I just love it. If you, if you can do some little, you know, ten minutes of how it's just can't be so. <laughs> I'm all for it. Thanks. I'd appreciate it. But I don't think that's what you're interested in. Um, so whatever. Yeah. Like I said, I like you, Joe. But yeah, I, I, you know, what, what would I do? I express my honest reaction, my honest opinion. And that's not fair. That's cheating somehow. That's being a fuckhead. That's being something too outrageous. And then you play this little whatever this weaselly game is where you say you don't watch physics videos but you you have a qualified opinion about the merits of the physics I'm arguing. Oh, I see. That's supposed to make sense too? No, that just seems really petty. And so, what is this preaching a Buddhist shit and then you, you act in exact opposite of what you're preaching to other people? It just It's just so fucking hypocritical. But whatever. <laughs> you know, it's YouTube. Do whatever you want. Till next time. And such.